So could the Golden State Warriors be trading away Brandon Podzemski to the Utah Jazz this 2024 NBA offseason? Well, here on the screen is a trade proposal or a trade idea from FadeAwayWorld.net. The link to this article is down below in case you want to check out the entire thing uh, for yourself. But this trade would see the Golden State Warriors receiving Laurie Markkinen and the Utah Jazz receiving Jonathan Kaminga, Brandon Podzemski, Moses Moody, a 2025 first round draft pick, a 2027 first round draft pick, a 2028 first round pick swap, and a 2029 first round pick swap, all from the Golden State Warriors. So if this trade were to actually happen, this would just be a blockbuster move, um, all things considered. Now, Laurie Markkinen did re-sign with the uh, Utah Jazz on a five-year extension which I do believe uh, allows him to not be traded this upcoming season. So this trade, of course, would not have would, would you know, be happening about a year down the road from now uh, and can't quite happen this soon. So this is more of like a 2025 NBA trade proposal as compared to a 2024 one. But if this were to happen, right, because there's been lots of rumors and speculation about the Utah Jazz wanting to get Brandon Podzemski in a trade as compared to Jonathan Kaminga, but the Warriors basically have pods off limits in trade conversations. They fully do have, you know, full belief and uh, trust in this guy for the long term uh, in this franchise. Also too though, if you're the Utah Jazz and you're able to get back in this scenario, Jonathan Kaminga, who gets better each and every year, he's a young star in this league. Uh, Pods who we just touched on, Moses Moody, a good veteran, uh, not really a good veteran, still a younger player that could perhaps thrive in a change of scenery. And getting back two first round picks and two first round pick swaps from a team in Golden State, which future, which is future in my opinion, isn't actually the brightest you know, that's just my personal opinion there. So I think if you are the Utah Jazz, you are laughing at this trade proposal. I know Laurie Markkinen is a really talented player, but if you're getting this much back in return, four draft picks, two, you know, young star players in this league and Moses Moody, I would say yes without even hesitating. So in my personal opinion, the winner of this deal has to be the Utah Jazz. But as always, leave your thoughts down below.